eating Tex-Mex is my guess. Steven Jackson, who's a friend of the show, um, he's not. <laughs> he, he, uh, you know, he had a little bit of a faith. He DM'd Alex Stein. He was angry. He calls everything racist. Friend of George Floyd simply because they looked alike. They became friends. Did we somehow. ever get to the bottom? Did we ever get to the bottom? We of that? did. He, some guy, he was in like Texas or something. Stephen Jackson, when he played for San Antonio, and some guy no, said, no, "You no, look no. just like this guy." Now, of what? No, did we ever get to the bottom of who would win the fight? No, we had to come to a disagreement. Okay, well, because I did a survey. I think did you do a survey on Twitter or X now, as they call it? No. I... No, I don't think I did. Okay. Well, I think, um, I'll be honest, Stein won the fight on my Instagram story. Huh. Poll, but. Well, you're, you're going to disagree but, with the people, eh? Well, quite obviously. First of all, it wasn't a landslide, okay? We're talking like, <laughs> you know. It was Michigan or it, Wisconsin? It, it was like 45, 55 or something. It wasn't a landslide. But the people who watch my story, are they're not looking at it uh subjectively they're they don't like steven jackson either but they're just go you know they're like steven jackson's an idiot he's a woke tard whatever so he's gonna lose the fight they're not looking at it from a a, a, a realistic bro point of view exactly so i just we never got to the bottom of that maybe we'll maybe we'll try it again i don't know um, Steven Jackson is going viral for comments he made during a segment on the Big Three where he spoke about why the NBA should support Ice Cube's three-on-three -three basketball league. Jackson explained that the league is made of former NBA players, so it only makes sense for the league to support it. I mean, it doesn't. It You can say that, but you can also say that they're another basketball organization. Why should they support it? From there, Jackson states that he's the face of the biggest civil rights movement for his work on the George Floyd case. It's the only black-owned professional league <laughs> God, we need what to go work? and support what them with Ice do, Cube. Bro? Let's, let's stop. I don't know. He spoke work. at a couple rallies, but the idea that it's like, uh, I am this, I am of this race, therefore you should support me, is obviously racist. Like, it's not like going out and being racist. It's that you want somebody to support you based on your race, which means I will not support these other people because they're not one particular race, but I'll support you because you're one race. That would make the supporter racist. Um, and from that, the NBA doesn't want to do this anymore. You guys had your two years or whatever. They had their two years with Black Lives Matter on it, on the court. And then people were just like, hey, they're embezzling money. And then there's like, oh, it wasn't actually <laughs> Black Lives Matter, the company. It was the movement. You notice we never worked with the company. They never worked with the company because they don't care. Just like we're going to see how much the NFL cares in a minute. But like the NF or the NBA doesn't want any more of this. They had, they did their time. They praised the God of social justice. Their players will continue to do it for them. They probably had to shell out a whole lot of money. They cuck all the time anyway in the NBA. They say it's a player's league because their rosters are so small. So you can command so much. You got LeBron out there. You've got Steph Curry. You've got so many players doing crap in the NBA. Why would they want to take on the social justice angle from another league that's not that profitable, if profitable, that competes with it? I know it's in the summer. I know it's not the same sport. I know it's former NBA players. But listen, um, it is the same sport. leagues aren't... Well, it's three on three. It's a different game. It's half court, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's Burn, Eric. <laughs> So I don't know why they would do that. And Steven Jackson just being like, I'm the greatest. Like he, I'm just going to go ahead and say he's not the brightest guy, Eric, is, is the hill I'm going to die on here. All right, just for once, stop pretending. You're on the computer anyways. You always got your cell phone in your hand. So just take a quick moment, sign up to the Patreon, patreon.com slash uopod. You will not regret it. You're going to see us fly off the handle and say all the things that we can't say on YouTube lest we be kicked off and shunned from society. So, sign up to the Patreon. Appreciate it. He's just not that great. Good basketball player, obviously. At one point, top 200 in the world, probably. Um, even higher, because he was a starter for most of his career. But, opinions? I mean, come out and say, I, I don't know if this matters to him, Eric, but come out and say, even though George Floyd was a porn star who threatened a woman who was addicted to fentanyl, 
um, gave out fake money, um, all these things. I still think that he shouldn't have been killed, and I think it exposed something. Blah, 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 blah. I disagree with it still, given the video evidence. But but let's be honest about it, at least, Eric. Yeah, well, first, um, you can't refer to George Floyd as a porn star. He may have made pornography at one point in his life. Porn star. You do any of it, you're a porn uh, star. Um, secondly, I think... Um, my biggest bone to pick with this story is the quote or the for the work that he's done on the George Floyd case. What does that mean? There's nobody in the world, no okay, nobody in the country or in the world would ever dare to explain what that means. The work you did for the, during the George Floyd case, what did you do, bro? Like what, what are you says. talking about? He says he's the face of the biggest civil rights movement ever ever eric and he doesn't even say in the united states maybe that goes without saying we can consider it in the united states he's bigger than ending slavery he's bigger than giving black people the vote he's bigger than um you know giving women the vote he's bigger than the civil rights um of the 60s he's bigger than everything eric yeah well he he might be because after the last couple of years Obviously, everything has been called into question. So we don't know what's true. Maybe this riotous, the riotous summer of love back in 2020 was the biggest quote unquote civil rights movement. But can you bring the article up once more? Maybe put us on the side because I just want to read that quote or that part once more about, I, I know you're harping on a different portion, but these are the little things about the work that he did. Those are the little, the little weasel words that nobody will ever question. It doesn't mean anything, and nobody will ever question it. What work did you do? You you stood on the burnt-out foundation of a Wendy's, or you... <laughs> what did you do, bro? I, I'm... And, and he will never face that question, right? He will never have to ask, He will never have to answer that. And those are the little things that constantly get thrown our way, and people just take it as truth, even though it's completely made up nonsense. It's basically like a demand for money here, if you read it. The NBA didn't reach out to me for Black Lives Matter, the movement for social justice, for quality. You weren't in the league anymore, dude. Like, wouldn't it make more sense to reach out to players in the league, which I'm sure they did? I mean, LeBron James, one of the biggest, he's arguably top three of all time. And he's talking about it all the time constantly even when blm isn't a thing about how hard it is to be lebron they're spray painting my house um atlanta voting everything my book's upside down and it's just like <laughs> no you need to reach out to retired ex-player steven jackson who was at best like the fifth kind best player like on most <laughs> yeah exactly why not because <laughs> people are going to be confused that's the reason eric they're going to be like <laughs> is this old footage of george floyd when did george floyd play in the nba um that's what people are going to be asking since i mean the george floyd was on the warriors what uh, he was um, um my book's upside down it's just the quote of lebron when they questioned him about like the malcolm x book or whatever and he just says very 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 very, very, very smart man. Very smart man. And it's like, dude, you, what are you talking about, bro? You if he to, actually read you, anything about Malcolm X. Pages? Exactly. If he read anything about Malcolm X, he wouldn't be doing the stuff he's doing. Malcolm X didn't trust Democrats. He said they were the sheep's or the wolves in sheep's clothing, and they use black men to further their agenda. Which is Sounds right. literally what he does is further the Democrat agenda. Neither here nor there. Talcum X, shout out very Talcum X, man. Sean King. Very, very, very smart <laughs> man. Smart man. Very smart man. Turn it up, Jordan.